today we're going to turn this pile of boards into this beautiful laptop bed desk. We're going to start by filling all our knot holes with epoxy. This is just total boat medium resin and I picked a color that will complement the Baduke splines we're going to put in later. So make sure it's mixed well, fill these holes, and uh, poke out all the air bubbles. Cutting all of our miters so that the corners will match up. I eventually cut them to length to be about eight inches tall. But clamp them up and then uh, check for square. Then we're gonna cut all our splines, making sure they're evenly up spread apart. Whoa, 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 I bet you're asking. How are you making these cuts? Well, if you plan on making one of these for yourself, you're gonna need one of these. And no, I don't have a build video on this, and uh, no, it's not my design. There are lots of other videos out here on making this spline jig. Without going into too much detail, what this jig does is it cuts your miter joint at a perpendicular 45 degree angle. So you can reinforce it with a piece with perpendicular grain direction. Man, that's a lot of perpendiculars. What is important is if you use a jig like this is to make sure that it has a fence. My fence just uses a bit of T-track I had left over from my assembly table, but it lets you set the distance from the blade in order to make the cuts for the four splines all around the outside on both corners. Then you can move your fence to make the other four inside. Basically, if you do this, you need this jig. If you make this jig, make it with a fence. Okay, back to the build. Like I was saying, all of our splines cut evenly. Then we're going to glue them in. This is just uh, some paduk to complement the uh, cherry that we're making out of. And cutting them flush with our pull saw. And sanding up all the glue and cleaning them up so they're all flush with the actual piece. We're going to cut a little groove here. Did this in two passes for a little cup. And we put some finish on it. This is just boiled linseed oil and polyurethane mixture. I have a video on that if you want to know how to mix that. But now our finish is on, we're going to cut out our leather pieces. These are just some uh, craft paper I took to make sure I had the right sizes. With the pockets on the sides, you want to make sure that they chamfer out so that you can get a nice little pouch set in for those pockets and uh, the leather doesn't have to stretch too much. And this piece is going to be for our armrest. Uh, again, I just took a piece of paper to make sure I had the right fit, making sure all our corners are square. With all the other pieces cut out, let's put in our studs. So I just used my Leatherman to hold the stud there. Oh, subscribe if you think of that, I earned it. But just using the Leatherman to hold the studs there as I hammer them in with a tack hammer. And uh, you don't see it really here, but I strict make sure to stretch the leather so there's no uh, folds in the leather that are weird. And I made sure that they're all spread out really nice and even. Then for our pocket, our bottom is gonna be the only straight cut that we have. So we make sure that's spread evenly and then uh, tack that down. And we'll fold in the top corners because they are beveled out <clears throat> in order to form that pocket. On one side, I made this pocket for a phone and pen. Are you working from home and you don't have a dedicated office space? Sitting on a couch is just too uncomfortable. Nothing else seems to work, even when you sit like your children. How do they do this for hours? Well, what you need is this the laptop bed desk. It lifts the computer to a comfortable height and it gives you a spot for your drink. Like all you ladies love to tell us, it has pockets. The leather provides a great place for your arms to rest while you work from home. <clears throat> Crappy infomercial over. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. And if you like this video, and want to see more of them, check out these videos here. And if you want to see what's going to come up next, and you think I earned it, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification to get notified the next time I upload. Anyway, thank you for joining me here at Shepherd's Workbench. We'll see you on the next one.